Marcus fucking Hobson, my guy, what up? Don't mean to intervene. How are things going? Talk to me. How you living, G? You look so confused right now. Do you remember me? Cause I've been with you since a teen, fucking you up mentally. I love it, dude. Staying inside your head with a rent is free. I'm just here to make sure you keep all your crazy tendencies. Look at yourself in disbelief, struggle with your identity. Stuck in depression until you diagnose with it clinically. How's your love life? It's still a trifling mess. Nigga, you 35. You haven't found a wifey yet? I mean, if I was you, would I be stressed? Why, yes. I guess a mail order bride is nice, it might be best. So how did you manage to get rich yet be so empty? Constantly stuck in a deep old frenzy. Maybe your ego ain't eco-friendly. Bro, you got a life that we don't envy. And I bet suicide must be so tempting. Do it. Wait, hold up. Damn. Fuck's wrong with me. I can't leave me alone with me. I'm like, who oh, is this nigga? Why do I feel it? Could it be good? And then inside the mirror. Wait, hold up. Shit. It's got control of me. Don't know who I'm supposed to be I'm like, who is this nigga? And why do I feel it? And could it be clear? The man inside the mirror so how's the rap life? Do people enjoy your music? Or are you still spitting that bullshit to destroy the youth with? Be honest, you live in the shadow with Join and Lucas. Uh -oh. You jealous? <laughs> I know that you are, my point is proof. What fuck happened to you? You was spitting so cold, you was the ill mind of Hobson on the list with the ghosts. Then you fell off, you should've took a different approach. Uh -huh. I hate to say it, but you'll never be like Kendrick or Cole, nigga. Damn. It's fucked up. That isn't fair, Marcus. I'm hoping that God will answer your prayers, Marcus. But even if he does, the chances are rare that you'll have hands in the air Headlining Madison Square Garden Sorry. Nigga, put the mic down Don't you fight this fight Cause you the corny rapper Only weird white kids like So every time the blogs post you The comments gon' roast you I would rather be dead Than be caught living in your shoes Wait, hold up I'm tripping the Fuck's wrong with me I can't leave me alone with me I'm like, who is this nigga? Uh -huh. Why do I feel it? Yeah. It could be good The man inside the mirror Wait, hold up Please stop It's got control of me I don't know who I'm supposed to be I'm like, who is this nigga? I got an idea. I'll tell you how it works. It's gonna sound a little outrageous, but hear me out first. You turn your phone off for two weeks and start an outburst of worried family members, which leads to a local town search. And when they find you, you dead inside of your crib with a letter that says goodbye to your kid. <laughs> but you don't get to see him anyway, cause your ex is wild and shit. So when it's little head, it's like you already died. It's a trip. While you reside in heaven and hell, whichever side that it is, your baby mom's a regret the shit she never tried to get fixed. If you're alive, chances are she'll never try to repent. I'm just trying to show you ways to Exercise your revenge All you want is love, right? right? Well, you gon' have to get some balls Shoot your fucking brains out Until they splat against the walls I mean, it has to hit the blogs And all your fans will get involved And you'll be missed Cause people don't know what they have Until it's lost Hug your dad and kiss your mom Before this transition is done Into the new life Your current one is trash It isn't fun Yeah, everybody got problems And we all fighting this big war But your problems are different You got nothing to live for Wait, hold up Oh, no Fuck's wrong with me I can't leave me alone with me I'm like, who is this nigga? Please stop. Scott control of me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be. I'm like, who is this nigga? And why do I feel it? Could it be clear? The man inside the mirror. What I'm thinking, what you're thinking is not the important thing. We are alive right now. That is the important thing. It is important that you focus on this fundamental sense of aliveness within you. And then you will see there is a natural distance between you and your thought process. Once you create a little space between you and your mind, between you and your body, this is the end of suffering. Don't identify any thought as negative because it's just a thought. Who told you it's negative? It's just a thought. You're making it up, maybe you like it. What's the problem? If you understand it's just a thought, it has no power. If you think it's a reality, then it destroys you. Destroys you. Destroys you. Destroys you.